An Invisalign smile is so powerful, you can face anything. Invis is... I just want to sit here and read the chat. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so everyone's in the house tonight. Um, completely blown away. Like a hundred. I'm gonna look at the camera. Okay. Um, I am so filled with joy right now. Thank you, Lu Lucia, Anita, if you're here. Thank you, um, Benji Julia Galore, Anna. <laughs> my voice is cracking. You are um, you are moderating. She's a moderator. She's a moderator. She makes. Um, it is very very late. It is starting pretty late for me. So so I actually wrote everything down. Down. I've never been as organized as I as I am tonight. I have very large post it on each item with the number. So I wanted to be able to get yeah, right, Lizzie. Woo -hoo! Hi, Yvonne. So I'm just going to read what I wrote. I feel like I should just get into it. You know, it is late and, and it's going to be fun. Um, before I do that, this is the second Haskell for the holidays. The first one was not live. So I managed to be excited. I am genuinely excited about a live Haskell for the holidays. Um, it, I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a lot of really pretty jewelry you know, really nice condition, um, really like great Haskell. So even if you're not shopping, you will love to watch this, watch this video or studying Haskell. You can use, can use this study later on. Hi, hi, Anita. Um, <laughs> so, oh my God, I'm just completely blown away. Just like, gosh. So, okay. So now I'm, I'm going to read it. So, um, so the first thing to note is there are already three pre-bids placed. Um, and you'll know, I'm going to tell you that there are pre-bids placed. So you won't think that like I'm randomly raising prices on those things. And one of them, I'm going to tell you I'm bidding on the other ones. They don't, I'm, I won't disclose, but the one that I'm bidding on, um, I'll tell you that it's me and you'll probably, I bet you all know what I'm bidding on anyway. I know you do. Um, but they're not mine. These are actually consigned from a single a collection and it's a remarkable collection and it took me a very long time to go through everything and organize and organize all the mates were good and I picked I picked up through a lot and this is like this is like the best of it so so the Haskell 
They also have, have, it's coming up later. She also collected Hobe and Les Bernard <laughs> for 50 years. So, yeah. Um, so, so, okay, so here it is. So um, uh, if you want to bid and you are new, you can text or email me. I should uh, figure out how to do that now. Uh, there it is right there, okay. So yeah, so if you're new, text or email. And um, what I need is your YouTube name, your, your email and the country that you live in. If you are not new, this is important to hear. If you're not new, I am doing layaway. We, we, you, get, we, you get away um, if, we know, if we know each other for um, a three-month three period, you know. And then if, you're, if we really know, really know each other, talk about it. But the, the, the standard is going to be a three-month layaway. Like a real auction house, there is a 5% discount if you want to send a check. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Everyone's here. It's a full house. Um, shipping is free if you are in the U.S., but because this is Haskell, I highly encourage insurance. Like, I really recommend insurance, and that is something that I can't carry because it's not mine and it's consigned. So I'm encouraging insurance, but I'll pay for the shipping. Um, and I'm shipping everything priority flat rate box. Like, no, nothing, just flat rate box. It's either going to be a small flat rate box or a medium flat rate box. Um, the giveaway tonight is a tonight is a 20 discount that you can use if you buy if you buy some tonight or you you can use it if you want anywhere you want anywhere that I have I have things you can use that um, whoever wins please somebody, somebody remind me to do the giveaway because I'll be navigating a lot so um, anybody who has my text number feel free to text although that might make a weird sound I don't know somebody somehow figure out how to remind me if I looks like I'm forgetting. Um, there may be a part two if it goes really late and people start dropping off and I get really tired. I think Tuesday might be a good night because Anna's auction is on Monday and I saw her preview and I want to be there. <laughs> so because there's one thing I really like. So um, I think that's everything. So just let me know what day is good if it's not Tuesday. Also, Wednesday at 6 p.m., I'm doing my thank you Christmas thing and what thing and what I do is I give give patients. So it's gonna be a free live I've identified session and you can be you can be on if you want or, or you send a picture and I'm gonna be doing a live I've IDing and evaluating and I'll be super fun for everyone. Whoever is available, please do show up on Wednesday. That's what I'll be doing. And now I'm gonna uh, turn on the music. And start. Oh, and let me know if the music is good. Hi, Thelma. Hi, Danielle. Um, if the music is too loud or, or something, somebody let me know. I have no idea what the lag is like tonight. I'm echoing. Oh, no. Okay. Did it stop? Am I still echoing? Thank you, Christina. Christina, somebody let me know if I'm still I'm still echo. I'm still echoing. I don't I don't know. All right, let me maybe no music tonight. That fix the problem. Oh, it's because my phone is on. Yes, it was before the music. Okay, so. Okay, so am I echoing? It still echoes. Okay, I am turning this off. I don't have the, I was hoping I could, I've never had a chat on my phone before. Um, I have two devices running, so one has to be muted. Okay, so I'm, I turn my phone off. And it's not it's still echoing. There's probably a delay. Thank you so much, everyone. Sounds better. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick with this. I'm, I'm gonna give up on the music. Um, or maybe, um, Okay, so first first item first item is the amber. It's an it's not amber. It's am, it's amber glass. It's a really really remarkable pendant necklace. The starting bid is two hundred, and we have a pre bid already. So um, if you want to bid on this one, the next bid is two hundred five. It's still happening. Still echoing. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I have no idea why. Oh, maybe it's um I have another window open somewhere. The echo is the lag. It's like a lag. I have nothing else open else open. Um um Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's, it's kind of just saying, I bet it is. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, leave the studio and, and it's blurry. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, it's only now and again, so interesting. Maybe your approximation to a device. Okay, so I'm gonna move this computer away. I, I feel like I might have another window open on what I'm using. And um, so let me take a look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly, I can deal with the echo. Okay, okay. All right, so it. So the, there's already a pre-bid bid on this. And <laughs> yeah, it's not blurry. I get it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was a fun distraction. All right. Um, here we are. There is a pre-bid on this of $200. So the next bid is 205 if anybody would like to bid on it. It is in very eerily like new condition. It is an extraordinary Miriam Haskell. It is designed so that the pendants lay sort of straight. You see? Um, um, I'm gonna show you the back, Here's the rhinestones. There's the back of it. Look. That, that is very bright Haskell gold. It is really, really superb. It has a deco feel. Um, it's, it's outrageous. I made all the starting bids um, low, you know, because we're like a community. And I knew that this was happening all at once. So look, there it is. That's the Haskell tag. So I'll give it a few minutes. Um, somebody, so somebody, <laughs> yeah, OMG, I know. So somebody, so someone has bid on this 200. So so if anybody wants to bid 205, 205 now, all the increments, increments are $5 increments. It is just, there's a very similar one in Pearl. Pearl. I had such a hard time in, um, not wanting to bid on like I picked one thing. Look, look at the scale of it. It's outrageous. It's outrageously beautiful. Hi, hi, Jane. Yeah. So there it is. So yes, they're glass. This is all glass. Um, this is well, this is crystal. These are like deco pendants that they did, you know, Haskell. Um, look at the rhinestones. This is how it lays. They actually like spread out like this on purpose. And they lay perfectly. It's really quite remarkable. I kind of don't want to, I don't want to rush. It's just so beautiful. It's just, it's just so good to look at everything, you know, you know, and it seems to be here. So, so look at that. Isn't that great? I'll turn it over so you can see the back. There's the back of it. That's really what it looks like. It's this beautiful, bright, shiny, wonderful, perfect gold. You know, there's the little hang tag. All right, so Anna, oh, 205. Yeah, starting bid 205, mm-hmm, yep. 
Anna's calling the shots tonight. And um, so everyone, if there's any other little hang up, hang ups. Okay. Um, is it still echoing? Actually, I'm curious. I hear nothing. I think that's what it was. Someone just texted me and I realized that my speakers were not um, fully down. So. Yeah, I know my Haskell. <laughs> well, this is a way to learn. This is definitely one way to learn. Okay. Um, I feel like I would like... Has anyone bid at all? Another 205. Are we in for, is anyone? <laughs> yes, still echo. Okay. I'm going to turn my phone off completely. completely. All right. And, and my speaker off. Okay. All right. So... There it is. So I think Anna, let me know if there's any other bids. And if not, I will call it. Oh, Jane's in for 205. Okay. It's not that bad. I wish I knew what was causing it. All right. Jane's in for 205. I'm going to uh, I have no idea how to do it. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll mute, unmute it. Let me know if that helps. You know help. Yeah, yeah. I'll move my computer far, far away. Okay. All right. Did you guys notice the picture of my mom? <laughs> Only you two peeps ever had the echo. How do you fix it? Hold on out. Yeah, it's so weird. I was told that I was too close to the micro for the microphone echoing. Oh. Oh. I. I. Okay. So. Um, does the person, oh my God, you're right. Uh, 205, yes, I, yes, I'm sorry. I was so distracted by the microphone. We are at 210. We are definitely at 210 now. Um, so who, uh, Jane, let us know if you want to go to 215 because there is a, a private max bid on this. So it literally sounds like the audio repeating. Um, yeah, you, yeah, let me know, Kat. Refresh and let me know if it sounds better. Okay, Yvonne is at 210. Okay, right? Jane's at 215. Thank you, Yvonne, for straightening that out. I really appreciate that, Yvonne. Yvonne. Um, and Jane's at 215. And I feel, feel like I'm going to leave the studio, which I've, ne I've never done before, but it should still, still stay alive. So. I'm going to, um, it's a risk. It's a real risk. Um, Yvonne's at 220. Um, all right, I'm just going to do it. Just going to do it and see what happens. And then, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to leave the studio and change my mic, okay? All right, wish me luck.
Okay, we'll see if that made a difference. I changed my mic to the computer mic and I have no idea if you can hear me <laughs> or see me. <laughs> um, uh, Jane's at 225. Um, let me know if you can see me and hear me, please. Um, feel like, yes, you see us, you see me. Well, thank you. Has the, uh, Yvonne's at 230. Ah, oh, hear, see, and love you. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. Okay. And I have a feeling that the echo is better now because I switched to the computer. So all good. All right. So there it is. This is, and it's a, this is really a once in a lifetime auction. Look at that turned around. See the gold? I don't think I'm really capturing the gold, but this is the Haskell gold that you want. Yeah. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I, I had the idea to do it like ages ago, but I was so scared to leave the thing because I'm alone and I was afraid it was just going to go off air or something. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I know jewelry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, microphones, not so much. <laughs> so, I, you know, I'm, I'm dying to, I'm going to just undo it and, and put it on. I'm not going to put it on. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to open it and hold it up. Ugh. Look. Do you see that? <laughs> so beautiful. Look. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, there's, there, there, I, look at it. Look at the rhinestone. Look how fresh it looks. It's so bizarre how fresh it looks. Yvonne's at 240. Um, uh, no, it, it, no, not tonight. Uh, -uh. um, let's see. Uh, it is very beautiful. Yeah. And, um, we do have 36 pieces. So if we do get to a part two, you know, if it really does go too late, uh, Jane's at 245. If it really does go too late, then I'll just, you know, we'll pick a time and we'll do a, a part two, you know, when it's good for everybody. And, and I'll, I'll listen to what you guys say. I'll, I'll take suggestions. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, it was. Uh, thank you, Michelle. You really, you did it. <laughs> Jane's at 255. I think that this is 1970s, you know, going by the hook um, and the crystals. But it's hard to place Haskell when it doesn't show any age because they used the same findings for decades. You know, like there are pieces from the 70s that had findings from the 40s. They had everything in little drawers on the walls and they would just, you know, that's how they would design things. They would just pull the findings out and then, you know, make something. And it could have, you know, something from the 1940s and something from the 1960s. And, you know, Yvonne's at 260. I'm showing you the hook now. There it is. I think there was probably a picture of that in the preview. There's a little tag. It's stunning amber crystal, isn't it? There's also a necklace um, that has amber in it. Like, can you imagine a Haskell with amber in it? Yeah, thanks, Lori. Yvonne's at 270. Um, it's so cool. It's it's a very cool piece. It's it's one of the coolest. Look at look at how deco it is. Like it makes all these straight lines. Jane is out. So we are calling it for Yvonne. I'm going to do, I have a different bell. I'm doing that tonight because it's the time thing. Okay. So hi. Hi, Carla. Okay. So Yvonne, let me write it down. At Okay. All right. Thank you, Yvonne. I'm sure you will love this. Um, for a very, very, very long time. And that doesn't go in a bag because it has to be specially packed. Um, number two is the, oh, I got a text. Oh, Michelle, the sunglasses. Number two, the amber, oh, it's the amber bead necklace with real amber beads. The starting bit on this is 150. And that is, I should know where that is. Oh, here it is. 
here, here, here. Look at this. This is this is mostly amber glass, but there is also amber beads. So it's like all these different shades of everything we love about amber with little bits of amber. See, like that's a little bit of amber kind of blended in. Um, and there's faceted crystals and carved and hearts. And yeah, it's, it's very remarkable. There's the clasp on this. And the age of this could be 70s, could be 80s. It doesn't really look like 80s to me in style. To me, this looks like a 70s piece because of the browns and the oranges. Um, it's another delightful, lovely beauty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Yvonne. Um, yeah. I think Yvonne might have been the first person who ever bought it something from me, if I remember correctly. Um, so anyway, so there you go. Ta-da. Isn't it lovely? Jane says 150. Oh, you turn this auction on and your phone to walk away from PC. Just a heads up for you, Britta's. PC is real time. Oh, cool. That's good news. Please hit the like button. Yes. Thank you, Christina. Always. Yep. Yep. Click like. Subscribe. Do all those things. Um, there's this, so pretty, um, you, I haven't been able to make the pattern out of it yet. You know, normally with beaded necklaces, you can kind of figure it out, but this one is so good that I haven't been able to, I see that these two hearts you can put side by side. I think it's kind of asymmetrical. It's really cool. It's definitely cool. Um, there it is, you know, kind of, you just wear it like you wear amber, you know? It's really, do I really have to talk about these things? I mean, it's like you guys know what they are. You know, it's, it doesn't take a lot of espousing. Um, yeah, it's better with the light through it. You can really see what's going on. Isn't that nice? So very, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're laughing, Christina. Yeah. Ta-da. Look how lovely. Look, look, look. See the little, the hearts? Those are glass. The faceted beads are glass. The carved beads are glass. Um, there's just a few little, be you know, they're actually not that little. There's, there's some amber beads. See, that's an amber. Um, that's an amber. That's an amber over there, but it's not about that. You know, it's just about the creativity of it. I mean, everything with Haskell is, yeah, you want to hold it. It feels really good. Like, listen, you know, and it's also like new, it's like fresh out of the box. Like it's so remarkable. Um, thank you. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sylvie. Oh, um, if you'd like to bid, just text your, um, just text connect to the number you see on the screen and it'll tell you what I need and then you'll be able to bet, bid. And um, if you want to bid, it's just your YouTube name, your email and the country that you live in. And shipping is on me and insurance is encouraged. Jane's at 170. I can see this with your collection, Jane. Um, it's heavy. It's not as heavy as like your coral and turquoise, like your coral and turquoise is really weighty. It's not heavy like that. It's heavy like, it's probably a little heavier than like a Swarovski crystal, you know, the long Swarovski crystals with chains. If you p pile that up, if you piled up two or three of those in your hand, that's the weight of it. That's, I'm, I'm impressed with myself because that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> that's definitely it. Um, and, uh, and it's delicious and it doesn't feel super cold because the amber is regulating it. So it's just cool here. I'm going to give you a close up of the, the details. Look at the, look at that. Look how fresh it looks. Isn't that amazing. Okay. Lori's out. So Anna, is it Jane? I think it's Jane. Jane at 
one seven days. All right, I'm gonna, Anna, all right, I'm gonna, um, it is lovely, it is, yes. Um, all right, sold. Let me hit my little bell and make my little, congratulations, Jane. All right, and I'll put that in the bag. And then number three is behind me. And I flipped out when I saw this. This is like textbook. This is so once in a lifetime. And I started it at 400, which I know is not a small amount of money. I'm very aware that these numbers are higher than usual, but they're smaller than anywhere else. Like you won't see them like this anywhere else for what I'm showing. So, um, oh, and I'm wearing jeans under my dress, by the way. So here it is. Do you believe this? I started this at 400. Don't forget there's layaway. I really would love it if all this stuff stayed in the family with us. Um, don't forget there's layaway. There's a discount if you do a check. Um, you know, it's, it's so worth it. It's, it's so worth it. Um, it's un freaking believable. It's got Haskell Mabe pearls, all of these medallions. Um, that's the clasp. It's breathtaking. It's actually taking my breath away. <gasps> Bernadette. Yes. Oh my God, Bernadette. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, and there's another feature because we are such a close knit community. I have been finding mates to things like that first preview that I did. There were things that I hadn't found that now have the mates that I just included for the same first bid. So I want you all to know that if I find mates to your pieces, you are going to get them. OK, I, I can't tell you there are mates. But I know from this woman's collection that she bought everything. She was one of those people. So, <laughs> so it just depends on if it made it through time, you know, because I know that she had the matching pieces to this. I'm absolutely certain of it. And I know that she took very good care of this. So if the others turn up, um, we will figure out how to get them to you. Yeah, it's a wow. It's a wow. My consigner is so happy that everything is going to the right place. You know, um, his, his, his mother is, is absolutely thrilled. <laughs> so, so there you have it. It's a wow. I know it's a wow. I, I want you to know that I never looked at it next to my face because I didn't want to fall in love with it. Um, but I'm going to do it now. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's special. Um, there's the, uh, it's kind of a push in box clasp. And there's a little hangy taggy, little Haskell hallmark. And then I'm going to show you the back of it. It's in remarkable, look at it. It's in remarkable condition. Look at the side of it. You're going to be dead. Yeah, tell me about it. T going through this was, it was so fun. <laughs> That's the back. Look at it. It's fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. Um, this is what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so what do I, look at that. So um, check in, Anna, let me know what I'm, what I'm doing. I know we have a bid for Bernadette. Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to look at it in the mirror because I wanted, I knew which one I wanted to bid on. Um, <laughs> but this one came close. This, this was definitely on the running there for a second. 
Look, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you so you can see the height of the domes. Does that work? Can you see? See how high they are? That's not working. Oh, I'll do it like this. There you go. Look, look at them. They're Haskell pearls. They're Haskell Mabe pearls. Are there any other bits? Uh, okay, I um Oh, you're asking. I thought you were asking me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Ashley says, yes. Okay. So um, I'm going to put it on the gray neck. I don't think you guys, Bernadette Lee at 400. Okay. All right. I'm going to put it on the gray neck and high bid currently at 400 with Bernadette Lee. And then you can see it because you all know the size of things from looking at the this this neck um, high bid currently at four hundred. All right, Anna, you're in control. You let me know when you call it. Yeah, this is. But you know, I know, I know, I I I understand, Sylvie. But don't. But we we um. I know you're new, but but if you if you would like to do layaway, I will um I will honor that um. You know, I'll hold it until it it's paid off, and then and then um, and the layaway is a three month term. So, if that helps, it's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it, and it's wearable. It's something you can wear. You know, it's not like a special occasion. It's just a lovely Haskell. <laughs> Isn't that great? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I think I'm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I, okay. Is it, I think I'm going to call it. I, Anna, let me know if I can call it. Just, just say yes or no. And then it's speech. It is, it is stupefying, isn't it? I'll turn it. I kind of want to call it. There it is. Look at the back. Look at this unbelievable thing. You know, is anyone thinking about it? Let us know if you're thinking about it. And then if not, we'll call it for Bernadette. <laughs> I'm so glad these things are staying in the family. I am so happy. Also, it means that I get a chance if you guys ever decide. I want dibs if you guys <laughs> ever decide <laughs> that you would like to, you know, figure out, you know, if you want to, I don't know if there is such an upgrade. There's probably no upgrade. Like, cause normally what I say is if you want to upgrade, um, there's probably not a lot of upgrade in what's here tonight, but, but anyway, I, I'm just calling it, I, you know, if you ever, whatever you guys get tonight, uh, contact me first. If you're ready to part with it, um, you're all thinking about it. <laughs> oh, should we do uh, going once, going twice? Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So yes, Jen, thank you. We're going to implement that, but it's been kind of slow. So I'm just going to call it right now for Bernadette sold. Congratulations, Bernadette. That this is on its way to you. This, this Haskell is on its way to you. How about that? Um, where did I put the little sticky? Uh Oh, Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right. Yeah, congrats. Mm -hmm. And and I have a special box for this. And if the pieces show up, I'll contact you. Okay, coming up next is number five. This is a pre-bid. There's a pre-bid on this. This is the pearl cuff bracelet and earrings that are three and three quarters, it's almost four inches. Um, oh no, it's not earrings, it's a brooch. Okay, so this is three and um, three quarters of an inch, the brooch. <laughs> and we already have a starting bid on this of 300. And um, it's a two piece, it's the brooch and the cuff. which is stunning. Yes, you can pay in installments. I'm doing, I'm on, I, I can do layaway. Um, 
And also, if you uh, pay by check, then there's a 5% discount. Look, that's the cuff. There it is. That's the, I'm over the moon with this brooch. Look at the shield. There's the, the back of it. Look at this. It's to die for. I know it's to die for. You could put this on a, a black ribbon and wear it. Look at that. That's like Victorian. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, my God. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to get to the, the cuff next, but we have a bid in already, Anna, for 300. Um, I love this. I love this. I look at, look at it. Okay. This is perfect. Look at what's happening. Like, this is how you wear this bracelet cuff. Yeah. Right. You put it on a piece of, um, you do what they actually did. The Victorians, like you don't use a, a choker that you bought. You use a piece of velvet ribbon or like a pot de soie or an ottoman or, um, what's it called? A grow grain. I think not so much grow grain, something softer, uh, a satin ribbon, even, you know, you could put, you could use navy, you could use purple. Purple would be incredible. Also, what women did was they had bits of lace that they would put their pins on and then put the pin on with the lace. Yes, it, every, yes, it's signed. There's only one piece in the entire collection that isn't signed and it's early and it's special. Um, oh, we have a troll, do we? Oh. Ah, interesting. There you are. I wonder if I can. Oh, it's letting me do it. There we are. I didn't realize I could do that from StreamYard. Learn something every day. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, so anyway, so there's a signature on that. And then now I'm going to get to the cuff. This is the cuff. It's like a memory wire. That's the back of it. That is, there is some patina on the metal, but it is very much what Haskell does. Um, there is some Haskell in the store that looks like that. So, oh, and the signature for this is, here we are. Right there, there's a little plaque. Um, and, oh, I'm getting real hot. I turned the heat up and now I'm dying. Um, yes, Haskell Pearls. You know what? Interestingly enough, there's a piece coming up later that I believe has real pearls. They did a thing in the 1980s where they started using real elements. I went to the trunk show in Bloomingdale's. And there's um, one, of the, one of the chokers very much later, I think it's incorporating real pearls with faux pearls. But other than that, hi, Holly. Other than that, it's generally always um, what are known as Haskell pearls. So there it is. And Is there anyone in for 305? We have 300. Do I hear 305? I'm gonna put it on and hold up the brooch. Oh, you're welcome, Kat. Lizzie, I can't believe you're here. It is so, so early where you are. Oh, I, and, and again, like, did you guys know? Oh, I was at um, Lucia and Anita's Christmas party, and they were like, oh, we're going over. We're, we're heading over. We can't wait. And they, they invited everyone that was at their party to come. And it blew my mind and filled me with such, it filled my heart with such joy that these women could be that lovely. I, there is no other way to say that you know, without a lot of extra words. Like there, the, I, I could not believe that Lucia and Anita could be such lovely humans. <laughs> so, 
So there, there, look, look at it across the hand. Thank you, Lucia. <sighs> so there it is. Um, came in and at the end, heard all the loveliness. <laughs> It was truly lovely. It really was. And if you try the chocolate, you're going to thank me too, because that chocolate is really, really good. It's sugar-free. It's gluten-free. There's only three ingredients. It's dark chocolate, honey, and like whatever flavor you choose, which is like mint, orange, coffee, or truffle. And it's 36 calories, a thing, and they sell it in bulk and it's amazing. Oh, lovely human. Oh, the lovely humans. Yeah. Okay, Anna, we got to move faster. It's late. I'm not used to being up this late. Yeah, try the chocolate. No Spanx. I know, no Spanx. I, I got to admit, you were, you were making me laugh because you were talking about your underwear for so long. Everyone was talking about like their underwear habits or their, under, their lingerie habits. And this guy comes in and he's like, uh, what, what did I walk into? <laughs> That was so funny. Um, okay, can we call this for the for the um, for the private bidder at three hundred? Was it three hundred? Let me double check. No. Yes, it was. It was three hundred. All right. Can we call it? Can we call it, Anna? Can we call it for the private bidder? Poor John. <laughs> Nervous giggler. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Pokemama. Interesting that you're here. Um, welcome. And um, interesting that you're here. So anyway, thank you for saying something. Uh, Pokemama is Adrian's mother, everyone, just so you know. Um. <laughs> So shall I call it? Sold. Oh my God. Sold to private bidder. Okay. Yay. You'll all know who it is eventually. She's, she's not going to be quiet about it. Um, where was my sticky for this? Oh dear. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So, yeah, congrats to you. It's staying in the family, guys, just so you know. Number six. Number six also has a pre-bid. That is the Miriam Haskell Clear Lucite and Clear Glass Necklace and Earrings starting bid at 600. And the private bidder is me. <laughs> Of course it is. Um, here it is. So if anyone wants to bid, the next bid is 605. And I'll be bidding right there with you. Um, the amazing thing about this is that the earrings turned up after I made the preview. So... Here they are. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm in in shock. Look, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did I miss four? Oh my god, I missed four. <laughs> Emily, I'm so sorry. Okay, we'll do four next. I yeah, I'm sorry. I think I got thrown. Um, I got thrown by the nervous giggler, I think. Um, so, okay, so we will do four next. And, um, you know, I'm only human. So there you go. Look, I know. I, I, this, is, this is so once in a lifetime. It is ridiculous. And it's not mine. And I owe the consigner um, to show this properly to you so that you can decide to bid. Um, it, it is, it's so, it's just so once in a, it's so once in a lifetime. Look, look. And there's the back of it. 
there's the clasp and the front of the clasp. And there are earrings. I know the earrings showed up. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm shaking. This 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 takes this makes me shake. It makes it literally makes me shake. This is um we'll 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 give it a minute. <laughs> There's the earrings. <laughs> Look. Okay, we're gonna give it a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put a clock on it. I'm gonna give it a minute and then um and then we're gonna call it for the pre pre bid der. <laughs> and yeah. Uh okay, where is uh where is the clock? Here it is. Okay, clock. All right, we got a minute on it. I can't see the comments, so I'm gonna let the clock run and then I'll check in and Anna. You can tell me what's going on. Anna, you have my text, so feel free to text me any communication if that's easier. This is all the Lucite carved in the shape of flowers. And then this is all glass in the shape of leaves and those Haskell hanging flowers and the Rose Montes. And it's on the filigree back and it's connected by chain. So it has like an asymmetrical look built into it. It's got two on this side and three on this side. It's pretty mind boggling. Um, and this is, there's still more incredible things that might be better than this. This is just my favorite. So I'm gonna put that away. I'm gonna check the comments, see if anyone has bid. Um, okay, so love caused me junk. Love caused me junk, you are new. So please uh, text me your YouTube name, your email, and the country that you live in to be able to bid. And I am bidding against you. My bid is now 610. And um, we'll see if you have, I don't see your text, but that's, um, feel free to bid, honestly. Feel absolutely 100% everyone, feel free to bid. Um, yeah, it's your favorite too. All right. So love cause me, love cause me junk is at 610. Am I saying that right? Love cause me J and K jink. Love cause me jink. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna increase this bit. It doesn't have to be, um, yeah, Dawn is at six. Uh, I am. I'm going to increase the bid. It doesn't have to be five dollar increments. So I'm going to say now that I am bidding six hundred and fifty on this. And um, let us know if you are in or out. I'm just going to call you LCJ because <laughs> I'm not sure I'm saying your your name right. Um, Oh, you texted. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. So let us know if you are wanting to go to uh, 655 or more. Um, I'm sorry you feel that way. I actually am doing this the most transparent way that I possibly can. I want to bid as well. This is the only thing I'm bidding on tonight. And um, we do increase bids here. We're, we're not, um, it's, it's okay if you ever want to bid more tap. You know, you know, it doesn't have to go in $5 increments and it's just so late. So you are at 655. I'm going to go to 675. And, um, uh, you know, just in the interest of time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And also I, uh, I welcome you. I definitely welcome you. Um, you know, no, it's just, I, this is the one I'm bidding on. So, um, I am at 675 and if anybody else would like to bid, okay, you are at 680. So I'm going to go to um, 
Yeah, what's not fair? I think it's totally fair. I get to bid too, just like everybody else. This is my thing. Okay, Anna. Yeah. Oh, let me double check and see if I actually got the text. Um, that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm thinking if I'm going to bid or not. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, no, I did not get a text, Anna, from Love Cosme. That is not someone who is legitimate. So we are removing them. And we are moving on. And I... Is anyone else in for this? This piece of jewelry makes a statement of elegance and unique magic link. Yes, I know. It is my absolute. It's, there was a troll. That's right. This is my absolute favorite. And I love it because it's colorless. And I also collect Lucite, as everyone knows. So, yeah, not fair in uh, Carla's opinion would have been me buying it at the original starting bid price. I could have, I absolutely could have, but I wanted to be absolutely transparent with the consigner. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, I owe it to the consigner and I owe it to you. So thank you, I win. <laughs> Yay. All right, a bell for me. And I will honor that price as well, consigner, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. And that's the way we roll. So hooray. So I got this for $6.75, right? Let me double check what number it is. I'm so flabbergasted. I've never gotten, I, I've never gotten so many trolls before. This is, um, I, I must say, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you click the, all right. I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I have never gotten so many trolls before in my life and I must admit that I was expecting them. So there you have it. Stay classy, stay classy people. Um, next up is um, the Miriam Haskell black and white three piece. Oh my God. That's this. All right. Yeah. And if for some reason I made a mistake and you weren't a troll, um, I, I will contact you and we will, I will tell you what my top bid was. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. Um, so anyway, so this is this is also incredible. Um, here we are. This is all of these. The starting bid, you get all three. This is how this woman also bought things. This is what collectors do when they're real collectors. And she is such a real collector that, oh, I still need to do number four. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm, I'm for Clint, the trolls. Okay, number four is... The black and pearl choker. Okay, so this is missing some stones, but I thought it was, I, I still wanted to bring it to you and show it to you. Um, I think the earrings are significant. The starting bid on this is 200. Um, here we are. Okay, starting bid on this. Um, yeah. What did James say? I'm really interested. Don, Paul McCartney felt guilty bidding on Beatle items at an auction, but he is a collector too. Oh my God. That's so funny, James. James, you and I need to connect, um, because it, I feel like we've run into each other before and, um, I, you know, if James is your real name, we'll just, we'll just say it that way. So there you go. Um, yeah, I, I, James, I got your last post after everybody left before the, um, the broadcast ended. I got a, like, I got your last thing that you said. And then of course it disappeared. 
but uh, okay. So here you go. This is missing some, can you raise the necklace up? Okay. I want you to see, ignore the trolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am ignoring the trolls. So here's what's missing. Can you see that? It's like two little rose monties, I think, on this side. Otherwise, it's in splendid condition. That's the back of it. It has, it's a three-strander. It's black glass. It's a choker. And here's the back of it. And the starting bit is 200, and you get this and these earrings, which are very long. They are um, three and a half inches long, three and a half inches long. So if anybody wants that starting bid, it's 200. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, and there's some pearls missing on one of the earrings as well. Some of the little, little tiny pearls on one side there. See that? To me, it doesn't detract um, because the everything else in this necklace is so, um, so excellent, you know? And when you find Haskell out in the world, um, this, would, this would be called, uh, yeah, it's black glass. It's black faceted glass. This would be called excellent condition because of, you know, the standard of how you find Haskell now. Um, oh, so Emily is in for 200. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Oh, just make one or two more. Oh, okay. I wonder if I can make you an admin from the chat. No, I have to do it from my phone. Oh, oh, Anna, make princess, make, make um, Carla, princess casserole a, a moderator, please. And Lizzie, make Lizzie a moderator, please, Anna. So here it is. That's what it looks like in real life. Just say, hi, nice to meet you. This is what I chose to wear today. Isn't that great? Yeah, just make me one or two. Just make one or two. Oh, okay, that, I just saw that already. Okay, so Anna, please if, um, uh, uh, add a wrench. Add the old wrench there to Carla, Princess Casserole, and... Oh, it won't allow you to make mods. Oh, darn it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the neck. I'm going to try and do it. Hopefully the echo won't start again. So, so silly. The whole thing is so silly. So silly. You know, this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> it's fun. There it is. Look how gorgeous. You know, you love it so much. The earrings are to die for. I know they're three and a half inch long Haskells. Oh, I'll show you the back. Um, I got your back too. Oh, I did. I made you a mod Sunday. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You are definitely a mod. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did that yesterday. Yeah, no, I know the, um, the, the, it's very subtle what's missing. It's some very, very tiny. Um, okay, I'll show it to you up close. So firstly, there's the back of the earring. Um, and it's the clip back with the adjustable screw, which is the best kind of clip back. I wish every earring ever made had them. So this is the way the pearls are supposed to be. But this is what's missing on the earrings. This is the only place. See, see, they go around the top, but they're missing from the side there. So those tiny pearls are not there. And then um, this earring is, everything is there. And then the choker looks, it was hard for me to figure out if it was the design or not, because it has like a geometric thing, but there are, uh, two tiny Rosemontes missing on one side. So, yeah, yeah, you're so not savvy. Didn't know what a troll. <laughs> yeah, 
Hi, Brandy. My God, I can't believe you're here. Brandy's very, very busy. Brandy has been growing her own um, thing on Facebook and she works very, very hard. Um, so thank you for being here tonight. I don't know what time it is where you are. Um, maybe it's earlier there. Uh, yeah. So are we going to call it, Anna? Shall we call it? I, for, I honestly forgot who was bidding because of the everything else that just happened. There's a close up of it. Jen says, hi, Brandy. I'll show you the back again. Let me know, Anna, if we are calling it at the starting bid of 200. It's definitely a score at 200. Um, here it is kind of on the hand, if you can see. And where did I put the earrings? Uh-oh, it's starting where I put things down and don't know where they are. Oh my goodness. I just had them. Oh, here they are, okay. <laughs> okay, high bid 200 to Emily. All right, I'm calling it. Congratulations, Emily. This is yours. And I'm so happy they're going to you because you love the earrings and you are the right person to get this. Um, let me, let me write that down. Emily for 200. All right. I'm so glad guys. And then when we meet again, um, hopefully you people, um, please send pictures to everyone of you enjoying, you know, and then when we meet again, um, Probably not Wednesday. I'm going to be doing an evaluation ID kind of party thing on Wednesday. If you missed that, I said it earlier. Um, but then after that, you know, I'm going to be showing, I want to do a show of just, I want to do a live stream of just my designs, not to sell, but you know, maybe I'll do that like before New Year's. Um, I, I would love to show you my designs. I've been, I made jewelry years and years. It's like everything would be like 20 to 25 years old. And some of it's pretty intricate. So, um, yeah, so that'll be another, another fun thing. Yeah, it was a good deal. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So now we're getting to number five. Number five is a set of three perfect condition. Like it was, like it was made yesterday. And that is a starting bit of 500. Yeah, I know it would be really great to see the picture. So this is. The way that these were designed, the stations or the focal points are in all different places from where the clasp is. So this is excellent. I mean, like it was made yesterday, black. When I first saw this, I was like, is there Chanel in there because of the, like the, the juiciness of these um, two-sided crystals, you know? So this is one and that's how long it is. And I'm, I'm holding it from the clasp. And I'm showing it to you this way on purpose. Starting bid on this is 500. And there are no more pre-bids, everyone. They've all been um, gone through. So here's the clasp on this one. So I'm holding the clasp now of this one as well. So this is how they play off of each other. You can see that they're different lengths. And this one has more stations that are offset from this one. You see this? This is like the magic of layering because you can't tell quite what's going on. This is such an amazing starting bid for these three. I would not be surprised if I saw just one online for 500 or more. So, oh, I showed you that one already. So I'm gonna show you this one now. There we are. That's the first station and it's kind of right up next to the top. And then there's this, and this is like one long kind of section, see? So those are the two. And then there's this one, which is the longest, which has hanging from the clasp, they hang to the sides. So where these lay diagonal, this one's more to the side. So this is how, this was designed to be worn so that you don't have to figure out how to get them in that magic way. It just does it. Yeah. 
and they're huge. They're huge. They're dynamic. I don't know what that comes out to per piece. Look at it. Um, this is heirloom. It's heirloom. It's in fresh condition like it was made yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have missed nothing. Absolutely nothing. I am here to um, be creative and share what I love and what I know and what I'm good at. And I have a lot of plans for the uh, coming year. You know, I want to include the community. I want to do auctions with the community. Um, look. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this would go so well in Treasures Collection. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what does it come out to per piece? What is 500 divided by three? I would probably know that if I was, if I didn't have the recording line on. I'm going to show it to you up close. So it's three. Do you see the three lengths of it? Um, it's This is the longest. Then... After that, this is the second longest, and then there's this one. And each one of these is great individually, but it's also meant to be a set. Um, yeah. Are you lagging? Uh-oh, is treasure lagging? I don't know. I don't know how to treasure feels. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you on the, the this thing. Can you see that? This is like a life size, you know. And then I'm going to show it to you up close. And then we'll move on. Maybe it's a pass. Look. See how big these, these get? They get really huge. <laughs> and it's um, black faceted and then like these giant clear these are very much like the chanel chiclets or even the swarovskis they're more like the chanel chiclets because they're so big um anyway it's just really wonderful and oh we have a bid i didn't realize that who's the bidder i missed it oh treasure oh okay treasure tis yours my love thank you thank you for being here everyone tonight thank you for showing up for me. It's so late. Um, and uh, it was my idea to be this late. So, uh, <laughs> so thank you so much. Treasure at, at 500 for all three. Um, I have to find this little sticky for this. No, I'll just make one. I'll just make one. Yep. Priority flat rate also, don't forget. And insurance is encouraged. And the first, obviously, if it's flat rate, the first $100 is um, included. But after that, I really recommend it. Um, okay. Yay, treasure. Congratulations, treasure. Um, so what am I up to now? I, I got a little out of order. Let me see if I can bust it out. The Haskell black and white. Oh, I think I'm up to the stick pins. The clear glass, black and white three piece. Yep, yep. Okay, stick pins. Okay, so these should go. These should go pretty fast. Um, the the first stick pin is the uh, the one with the dangle. Where did I put? Oh, here it is. Number eight. Okay, so this is blue. This is that. This is Haskell blue, and Haskell pink, and I like literally Haskell blue and Haskell pink and the starting bid on this one, these there's, there's only a couple that are extraordinarily so extraordinary that I had to start them higher. This one starts at 250. Um, like th these are so rare, the ones with the dangles. So this is it up front. This is starting at 250 and um it has its, it's a two piece, right? It has its original thing that all the Haskell had, the, the matching thing. It's an eerily wonderful condition. This is investment. Like this is worth so much more than this. Um, there it is in the back, like new, like, like new. 
And I love Haskell pink. I love when she mixed the pink and the blue together. My favorite Haskell piece that I own, you guys see it on my Facebook page. It is, um, I named it. It's the only necklace I ever named. It's called Baby. And it's the same exact configuration of the large pink with the um, smaller blues. So yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a nice size. And um, the approximate age of this pin, this is um, short 1950s. Um, yeah, baby, nobody gets baby. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, maybe, you know, when I'm like 80, you know, or yeah, I think like 80, 85, something like that. Um, so there it is in the back. There's the cartouche. This is 1950s. I'm going to place it at 1950s. It is a lovely size. Um, <laughs> Christina. Um, yeah, it's very beautiful. It's very rare to see the stick pins with the dangles. So I think I'm just going to say to everyone that this is 250 and I'm going to put it back and then I'm going to show number nine, which is 300. And I'm going to move through these and you can guys can bid if you want to. This is extraordinary. This is how it has a bend in the wire. So it's designed perfectly to lay like this. See, I'll show it to you from the back. This is so well designed. It's a hat pin. Yeah. 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 They call them stick pins. Nowadays, it would be a hat pin, but they also wore them on the lapels and they did all kinds of creative things with them. So see that bend? That means that it goes like this. So it lays perfectly diagonal. If you're looking at it from the front, it just looks perfect every time. And these are very remarkable. This is a very remarkable Haskell design to have um, survived in this condition. And this starting bid is... 300. Okay. That's number nine. And it has the givres. I thought these might've been sapphires. They're like sapphire colored givre. It's lovely. Look at it. It's so juicy and delicious. So that's 300. And then number 10, we're starting at 75. And this is older. This has the horseshoe cartouche. This is uh, 1940s. I could have um, put a higher starting bid on this but I did not. It has its, it still has its keeper. When you see these stick pins online, they never look like this. No, like I, you know, I've seen maybe like one out of a hundred online that looks like it. Look at it. Like yesterday. And it's the horseshoe. Yeah. Barb's in for 75. Yeah, that makes sense, Barb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's got the Haskell flowers and the beads and it has, um, are those Givre Rosemontes? No, 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 they're just regular Rosemontes. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It has the correct keeper. Um, the, the way that you, uh, okay, a little tutorial while you guys are thinking about it. Um, the, yeah, Christina's in for 80. So while you guys are, are bidding, I'm going to show you how the keeper works. So it is a spring mechanism. It's a, it's, um, you pull this piece right here, you pull away and it releases the keeper. So it's like a spring latch on this little knob right here. If you have no familiarity, Maybe I can get a shot of it opening there. You see that? That's it. And if you don't pull this down like a, like a watch crown, if you don't pull this down and you just try and take it off the stick pin, it will never come off. So it's a real safety thing. Uh, it's an ingenious design. And um, I had Haskell pins from the Haskell family that were not stick pins, but she just liked to put these on the back of her brooches because they also help stabilize the brooches. They're just ingenious little, little devices. So there it is. Yeah. It's 
So pretty. Look at it. That's a horseshoe, guys. That's an old one. That's, you know, pre-1950s. And then when you want to put it in, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to open it up or anything. You just slide it in the way you would normally. And it just holds it and keeps it there. And the only way that's coming off is if you release it like a watch crown. And it's a lovely size. So pretty. Oh, I have a pillow. Hold on. I'll use the pink pillow. I was at 125. Thank you, Dawn, for such a fabulous auction. You have been taking notes. So informative and educational, and you can put a price on that. Yeah, you know, this is going to be on the internet forever. I mean, that's the funny thing about the internet is that everything stays on it forever. So I wanted this to be valuable for the people watching, even if they're not bidding. Um, I have two messages from my, my man. Let me see what he's saying. Yeah. Oh, no, I definitely did number four. Number four is done. So there you go. There it is on the pillow. You can see for scale. Barb is out. So it is Christina. Is it Christina? I think it's Christina. Christina at 130. Congratulations, Christina. Oh, my God, your collection. Your collection. Christina. Tonky at 130. All right. And also another thing I have planning. So I want to do the ID. I want to show, you know, the ID evaluation as a thank you for the end of the year. I want to show my designs. I have all these creative ideas I'm going to get to do now. Um, I want to share the auctions and, um, oh, I had it in my mind now. I've already forgotten. There's another thing I'm, I was going to tell you I wanted to do. Can't remember. It'll come back. So number 11 I'm, wait, what? No? no? Okay. I thought it was something about. Look at this. This is, this is number 11. This is starting at 75. Oh, my God. Is this not signed? Oh, I didn't catch that. I thought there was only one not signed. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, my. Okay, so this is this is very early. Um, oh, wow, it has um, givre beads and um, pink rhinestones, rose monties, little small pink beads, uh, very layered silver tone, not signed. Starting bid at seventy five. It's it's amazing when you get an um, an earlier unsigned Haskell. It has a little, a little pearl in the keeper, a little pearl drop dangle. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even catch that one. I, I thought there was only one unsigned. Um so that was there you go. I mean, am I missing it? I, let me hold it up. I really I do not see it. No, oh, it is not signed. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. There you have it. So amazing, the condition. So, so amazing. The pink, I know the Haskell pink. This is it. This is why I fell in love. It does look like moonstones. I know. I think this is like a moonstone here. Um, that's, yeah, they had a moon glow in there. That's a, that's a moon glow bead. And these are Givre's. Or actually, uh, don't be mad at me. I'm just thinking now. Barb knows what it is. It's it's an opaline. That's an opaline. This, this was good. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. This is good. I I was going. I love you. You're crying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's a large. It's that Haskell pink. It was great. This is why we go to auctions. So Barb's at 
Um, thank you everyone for bidding. Um, I really appreciate the uh, momentum of the bidding. It helps me um, because I have the biggest lag probably out of everybody. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, This is also once in a lifetime, this one actually. This, I mean, they all are to varying degrees, to be honest. Like, there it is on the pillow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Opaline Moon Glow. Some Jonquil there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barbara Donald, just think of me first if you ever tire of it. Okay, so you're out. So we are calling it for Barb. And let me get my little bell. 145 for Barb. Okay. That was a score. Yeah. Barb's smart. We all we all we all know who Barb is. Um, okay, so next up, it's funny how James isn't here anymore. <laughs> He's lurking, maybe. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Anyway. Um, okay. So sorry, James, if you're still here. I'm very sorry. Um, uh, I really am. Okay. So number 12 is this one. These, this is also a great one. This is a clear and bright blue Rose Montes with like a metallic gold in, with a pearl motif, but it's a metallic, a metal gold. And it has the cartouche in the back and it is bright and beautiful. And we started this at 75, right? Uh-oh, I don't know what I do. Yeah, 75. This one is 75. So starting bid, 75. There it is on the pillow. It has its original keeper, like magic. Like, like magic, like pulling it out of a hat. There it is. It's a beautiful design. Yep, Wendy says 75. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Anna, thank you so much for doing this. You were looking. Oh yeah, um, thank you so much, James. <laughs> thank you, Mr. James. Okay, so. Um, there you go. Robin says 80. I can't seem to, to get it at the right angle. There it is. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Jane says 85. It's spectacular. It has a lot of dimension. The Rose Montes are so beautiful and clear and bright. This is what I, this is what you want. I mean, do you do, it, very bright Rose Montes? I don't know if I've ever seen such a bright blue. I'm sure I have. It's just right now. But and then there's the Haskell flowers. You know, um, it's stunning. I'm gonna hold it up. Actually, you're lurking too. Here it is on a person for size. Not bad. Look at that from far away. Very nice, right? Um, so it's at 90 now, Jane. Let us know if you're going to go to 95 or if you are out. Also, Robin, um, how do you wear it? Okay, so you wear this like a regular pin. You just put it through and then the little keeper shows up on the other side. So wherever you see this pin, this long stick pin, you wouldn't see that. You would just see everything else. So it's a very recognizable Haskell thing. Okay, so Robin's out. And then you would, so you could wear it on clothing. You could wear it on a hat pin, as a hat pin, on a hat headband, you know, hat band. Um, you know, any, any way that you would use a brooch, you could use this. At this point, for Christmas, all I can afford is to do is lurk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get you. I understand. So I think, um, so we have Robin's out. Let me double check. Jane is at 95. Wendy, let us know if you would like to bid again or 
if you are out. The high bid right now is 95 to my lovely friend, Jane. You just bought your present tonight. That's the way to do it. Yeah. And you did the right thing. I mean, I got I got my present tonight, too. <laughs> I think if it, if she really was a if there really was a troll here, I mean, it, it appeared to me that, but I will go back and look later. Um, so there. And if not, I, I so deeply apologize. Um, and not my fault. And mistakes can happen. Um, what did Wendy say? Wendy's out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it is to Jane. Oh my gosh! Okay, that was that's a that's a good score. It's ninety five, ninety five, Jane. Okay, and then moving on. This next one I started at one twenty. Because of the, I won't, I'll just show it to you. Okay. Givray, huge, original, bright, shiny. 120 is still very low for this. Look at that. Look at that. that that's Haskell Pink right there. That's Pat DeVere. So let's see. Cute, right? Class is not having to explain yourself. This jewelry says, I am class. If you notice, there is hope for you. I have noticed. <laughs> I have really noticed there's hope for the future. Um, thank goodness. Okay, so look, look at the Givray. Look at that. Do you guys see that? This is this is phenomenal. Phenom. These are Givray marquees. Yeah. Yep, yep. Starting bid 120. I'm going to put a clock on it. If I can find the clock, here it is. Okay. And I will go back to comments. I'm getting fancy now. I'll put it on the pillow. Maybe I'll put it on the black pillow. You're fading. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's it's getting late. All right. Um, I'll do. Uh, I'll get a, a, a. I'll get the stick pins done. And then we'll discuss. And then we'll discuss. Or maybe I'll skip the stick pins. I feel like I've done a lot of stick pins. Okay, I'm going to jump around. Okay, everyone, I'm going to jump around. And you can contact me. You all have the list. So there you go, Givray, very soft and lovely. Okay, I'm going to call it as a pass. All right, moving on. We're, we're amping it up now. Um, that's a pass. The next thing I'm going to show after the stick pins is the, um, the large oval earrings. Number, okay, so that's number 19. Floral and pearl, tendril rose, montes, scroll and pearl drops. Oh, no, I have to get to the brooch. I got to get to the brooch. Okay, so this giant brooch just killed me. I wanted to bid on this. This is four inches. I started this at 400. Get get ready to just, like, get your breath ready. I have... I have everything packed up so carefully. Um, okay, so wait, is it not this one? Oh, it's this one for Pete's sake. Wait, what number is that? It is, yeah, I confused myself, I went out of order, but this, I have to do this. It's number 23. So number 23. Oh, because I wrapped it. Okay. All right. All right. This is extremely 
this is extremely special. The starting bid is 400. That's a gift, that starting bid. This is bright. It's bright, 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 bright Haskell gold. It's the biggest one they made. And it has the pearls. It's It has all the pearls embroidered on it. Everything is intact. It is beyond measure. It has um, some rhinestones. It has some sparkle. Let's see what that says. Okay, yeah. Yep, okay, I'm gonna call it a night after this because you guys are saying you're tired. We will definitely reconvene. Please feel free to text um, text or email when we will do a part two on this. There is no rush. We can do it um, after the holidays if you like. You know, maybe it'll be fun to have a Haskell party when everybody, when there's no parties anymore. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's beyond... This, this is like, if you collect Haskell, then you might be able to stop after you get something like this. One half hour more. Oh, okay. I can do one half hour more. So the starting bit on this is 400. It is incredible. Yeah, it is. It, it is. There, there it is in relation, you know, because we always show the pillow for scale. So here's here's the pillow. <laughs> that really does say it, doesn't it? There it is on the pillow, everyone. There it is. Now you know what I'm talking about. And look at it from the side. These are this is like embroidered tiny Haskell pearls. And look at it at the back. Look at it. Look, look at that. Does that look old? It's old. It's really old. Um, okay, so what are you guys saying? Yes, more, more. <laughs> Getting tired. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call it after this. Bigger than the pillow. Yeah. Has anyone been on this? Do we have a bit of 400? If we do not, I am going to say goodnight now. It is also past my bedtime. I really do. Okay. So this is 1950s. This is a 1950s Haskell pin. Um, I, I can't get over it. I saw this when I was working on this collection, this was one of the first things I saw. And I thought that this would be the thing that I bid on. I was so certain that this was going to be the thing that I chose because I had a crest pin that was smaller and I regretted selling it. So I, um, I thought this was going to be it, but then I saw the Lucite. It's not heavy at all. It's sturdy. It's extremely well made. I mean, it's survived since the 1950s and it's been very well cared for. Obviously, look at the, the this is called Russian gold. Um, but uh, it's not heavy. It's just, it's, it has weight and it is not heavy. It, it has enough weight so that it will, it has a good hand, like a nice piece of fabric has drape. Yes, it's a crest. It's an absolute crest with the, uh, the lions on the side of it. I mean, if you look at the motifs, it, all of these things are something. It, it, uh, it has the crest here. It has a crown, a Maltese cross. The Maltese cross has a crown on it on the bottom here. And then these are lions. This is after an actual British crest. This is what they look like, except they're personalized for the family name. This one is just, you know, two lions and has nothing in the actual crest. If this was a family crest and not a Miriam Haskell, it would have something in here that was unique to the family. Um, yeah. There they are, pearls with dimples. Showstopper. Yeah. Dawn, this has been a fabulous night. 
Thank you so much. Thank you for staying up, Lizzie. Yeah, British looking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to say goodnight. I know you guys want me to hang out. Um, uh, we can do this again. This is not like you're going to miss it, right? I'm going to make sure everyone gets a chance. I'm going to make sure it's earlier. I'm going to make sure everything's done in advance and you all know. And I thank you. Oh, my God, there's 154 people watching. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know what to do now. That's a lot of people. Um. No, everyone's saying goodnight. Okay, so I'm going to say goodnight, too. I love you so much. Um, thank you, everyone, for being there. I am very positive. I feel very, I, I am stayed on. Don't forget, we can always pre-bid, guys. The pre-bid thing. <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> No, no, I'm saying good night. You know, my moderator is tired too. And and but we will continue this. It's all gonna be here. If there's any pre-bids, I'll let you know. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna send, we're gonna we're gonna go off happy and joyful and um uh filled with the feeling of uh fellowship. So thank you all. I will see you again soon. I'll see you in the funny papers. You will be getting texts and all of that stuff from me. All the all the right communications to know what is up next time when this happens again. Thank you, Thelma, for being here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, love and fellowship, love and kindness, peace, love and understanding. Love you all madly. Good night. <laughs>